please welcome to the stage, Jimmy Wanniger! <laughs> How is everyone? Good. Yeah, I'm good, thanks for asking. <laughs> um, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about myself. I'm from Lowestoft. Anyone from Lowestoft in tonight? <laughs> <laughs> just uh, just going to check. <coughs> Have you got a curfew? Do you need to be back in time? Or... <laughs> All good? I know I'm from a little town called Lowestoft. It's uh, cause a bit of a bad rap, I think, to be honest. Um, Lowestoft. I think it's like that place you sort of joke about when you want to trash somewhere around here, isn't it? So like, if we're in Norwich, we go, ooh, yeah, I'm not for that stuff. That trash. Have you ever walked down Prince of Wales Road on Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> I have. No other for lie, a few months ago, I walked down Prince of Wales, walk of shame on a Sunday morning. I stood in an entire dollar kebab. <laughs> When I looked up, there was a homeless man just outside Mattress Man. Get off. <laughs> that was the cheapest breakfast I've ever had. <laughs> so, uh, I'm buy for a couple of you that, I mean, it's about obviously, not, not a cock. <laughs> I still paid to a cock. <laughs> I grew up in Aerosoft. Um I went to the same school as the Darkness and Little Chris, if you remember them. Yeah. It's very sad about Little Chris, wasn't it? Yeah. Never made a big, did he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware of how that shit joke is, and I'm, I'm doing it forever, I don't care. <laughs> uh, so what I thought I'd tell you is I'd tell you a little bit about my uh, my first ever date uh, when I was at school in Aerosoft. No, very romantic. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was. Uh, this was back in two thousand and four. Tony Blair was a PM, I think. Uh, Rolf Harris was still a beloved children's hero. Hitting <laughs> <laughs> your children was okay as long as you didn't leave a mark. That way. <laughs> I feel you enjoyed that too much. <laughs> um, I, uh, I was 13 and uh, I heard through the, you know, the kind of high school grapevine, you know, you end up having a sort of like, oh, I've heard from Jason, who's heard from Nicole, who's heard from Sam, who spent 10 years looking at a bit of papyrus trying to translate that Rebecca wants you to take her out. And, you know, looking at me, I didn't have a lot going on. Uh, <laughs> That's hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yes, absolutely. I will go on a date to the little Hollywood cinema in Lowestoft with three sticky screens. <laughs> now, <laughs> I, um, I imagine everyone here is, is everyone been on like a cinema date before? Yeah. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. Um, what do you think is a good film to take someone on a date to? <laughs> They all want to shout one out. Human centipede. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll, we'll talk later. <laughs> and anyone want to have a guess? Lion King. Lion King. Something like sweet, romantic, you can have a cuddle, all that stuff. No. 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 Not far off. I took her to the opening weekend of Wallace and Gromit. Curse of a wear rabbit. <laughs> Set in the mood. <laughs> so it was uh it was me, it was a girl, it was uh I'm gonna say ninety-eight children in a dark room. <laughs> uh, and it wasn't going great, uh, surprisingly enough, and we got to that kind of point where Wallace was looking for his cheese or some kind of crap. And <laughs> um, she was she was sort of nudging me, like sitting next to me, and I was more into the film. And I kind of, I kind of knew what to expect at that point. She was expecting it was going to be like my first kiss, and I'd never kissed a girl at that point before. And what I thought was it would be like a lovely little sort of like a peck on the lips, just a kind of thing. 
She attacked my face. <laughs> like, Winnie to face fucking a jar of honey. <laughs> Her tongue hit me about here, slid up my face, <laughs> under my glasses, <laughs> and gently just finished on my eyeball. <laughs> and there's like this horrible moment where I'm sure we've all been there, where you're staring at a girl on the tonsils and she's looking at the top of your head and she tries to detangle herself and your glasses went flying into a row of children's popcorn and you kind of want to be like, look, it happens to everyone, that's fine. And she ran off crying. And I know what I should have done at that point. <laughs> I should have chased after her. I should have been like, it's okay, we can we can look past this. I mean I couldn't we can look past this. But I really wanted to see if Laura's got that fucking cheese. <laughs> Gonna leave you with, with one thought. Uh Wilson Grummer Curse of the Wire Abbott, beloved children's film, grossed 193 million pounds. I did not get a second date. <laughs> <laughs>